Hey guys, how are you? I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. Today we're gonna to talk about how to pass your driving test. We're gonna be focusing on segment one, road test prep, defensive driving. You need to go ahead and post your questions. I'm here to help you today. I just finished a driver's education lesson. My student passed. They're going to go ahead and take their driving test next week. So let's talk about some of the things that all of you guys need to do to prep and prepare. I think it's really important that you have a positive force in your life. This could be your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your uncle. I'm your driver's head instructor. I've been on the platform for almost four years. It's very positive. I read a lot of comments and I've helped a lot of people learn how to drive. So that is always very positive. The goal today is to help as many people learn how to drive as possible, to answer your questions, to help reduce anxiety, and to make sure you feel comfortable to reach your goal. The goal is, is to get you on the road, to have you feel comfortable and ultimately work up to passing your permit test, your driving test, and passing your knowledge test. So you need to go ahead and put those questions in. A lot of the common questions I get, how do I get signed up for driver's education? It depends on your age. If you're over 18, you're gonna go to the Secretary of State, the Department of Motor Vehicles. There, you're going to take a test. You're gonna to have to pay a fee. You'll take an eye examination, then you're gonna drive for about 30 days with someone over 21. Once you drive with someone over 21 and you feel comfortable parking, merging on expressway, making right turns, making left turns, going into neighborhoods, doing three-point turnarounds, then you're going to go to take your road test. You have to practice your parking maneuvers, your maneuverability. If you don't practice, the odds will increase that you will probably fail your test. So you have to practice. You got to get a little bit better every day. Don't put pressure on yourself when you get out there and drive. You need to have someone who's really supportive, who's really calm, who's going to help you fully engage. Meaning, activation. Driver's education is a very personal thing. Teaching adults, thank you for the hearts, thank you for the love. Teaching people how to drive comes from the heart. You've seen a lot of my content where I really encourage people how to drive. But when you learn how to drive, you're going to learn to become independent. You're going to learn to have a good job. You're going to learn to end up going to a community school. You're going to learn to go away to school. So driving will open up so many opportunities for me, just like me on this platform. I've had so many opportunities and I'm so blessed because of you. Driving will help you appreciate your neighborhood. You need to practice making right turns through your neighborhood, left turns through your neighborhood, and looking. When you come up to the corner and stop, you've got to look left, you got to look right, you have to look left to make sure that you stop completely. Another common area where people fail, they don't come to a complete stop. When a right turn on red, thank you for all those hearts, I really appreciate it. You, on a right turn on red, you have to stop, S-T-O-P. You stop for a minimum of three seconds, 1,001, 1,002, and 1,003. This allows the car to come to a complete stop. Then you look left if it's clear, you look right if it's clear, and then you look left. Always watching for pedestrians. There's a big, thick, white line. That is called the stop line or stop bar. You stop behind that line and there is a crosswalk. There are two thin lines. Also, you can use some of these things for your knowledge test. I'll be dropping some of those knowledge test uh, questions and answers and micro quizzes later on the day. Look at those like those. So you've got to stop. Next, you don't want to run red lights or long yellow lights. If you can stop safely for three seconds, if you can stop safely for three seconds, then you make the stop. If you get honked at, you made a driving error. Maybe you drifted out of your lane. Maybe you stopped on a green light. Maybe it was clear. There's always a reason why people are honking at you. So don't take it personal, but analyze your own driving. That was a good question. 
I want to encourage you to post questions. I'm here to help you. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I'm here to help you prepare for driving, answer your questions. There's a shortage of driver's education instructors like myself, so we are in high demand. A good driving instructor is funny. I got a good sense of humor. I'm always smiling. A good instructor is patient with you. They explain things thoroughly. We want you to live your best life, meaning driving as best as you can, taking good notes in class, doing well on your cahoots. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? Doing good on your Quizlet. I have a lot of uh, interactive driving games that I use that are custom made for me. If you have questions on that, let me know. Good teachers also use a wide variety of sources. The internet is a good source, such as my content. You always want to think of getting better. We have a lot of electric cars set out there too. A lot of students are driving in those now. They give you more freedom. You have more computer controls. So you want to make sure that you can understand the dashboard where you have a speedometer. Your car might be low on charge. You might have to get your car serviced. You also need to know how to put gasoline in your car. If you look on your dashboard, there's a little gas pump icon with an arrow. If it's pointing to the left, then your gas tank door is on the left. If it's pointing to the right, it's usually on the right. We teach students how to put gas in the car. You also need to check your oil. You're gonna pull out a long metal uh, aluminum uh, stick. That is your dip stick. I know it's kind of funny, dip stick, right? But you check the level of your oil. Also, you need to know how to put air in your tires. You should have an air pressure gauge where it goes on the tire stem. Do you think it's good to drive uh, in an empty parking lot? Yes, that is really good. That teaches you how to have good control going up the aisles, down the aisles, turning hand over hand into the turn turning hand over hand out. That would teach you good speed control. You wanna have your mom or dad with you to control the car. A lot of beginning drivers lack basic speed control. So you wanna have good speed control, go in slow to your turns. So of course you need to have your permit when you're driving with your mom or dad or someone over 21. So practice those slow speed maneuvers. I'm an advocate of starting out in parking lots. You don't have to deal with pedestrians. You don't have to deal with traffic lights. You might have to deal with some high school students who are kind of clowning around. Do I need my permit if I'm 19? You need a permit anytime you are driving a automobile. You can't just jump into a car, hey, I'm 19. Uh, sir, where's your permit? Ma'am, where's your permit? So you have to have some type of documentation when you are driving an automobile. So understand what I'm saying. If you're 19, you still need to go to the DMV, get your TIP. If you're 18, if you're over 18 and up, you've got to go to the uh, Department of Motor Vehicles and get your temporary instruction permit. If you're under 18, you're going to be enrolling in a segment one driver's education program, typically through your high school, through a third party driver's education school, where you're gonna learn the rules of the road, where you're gonna learn how to drive safely, how to drive at night, how to pass your road test. I do a lot of these things on my social media to help you prepare. Keep those questions coming in. My goal is to get over a thousand likes. I'm at 531. Keep answering questions. I think you need to give yourself about six weeks. Typically, the driver's education class is about six weeks long. So you need to take driver's ed when you have time. You're going to have to go to class either after school at 2.30 to 5.30, after school 3.30 to 5.30, 6.30 to 8.30. I've also done a 7 to 9 class where you're gonna come in, there are 20 to 35 students. Uh, they're usually two teachers. I would drive most of the students. I would have a driving partner. He or she would get 10 students. We set up the schedules. We gotta get you guys done in about six weeks. This is bringing you value, drop some lights. I'm taking you through the real process. Where do you go through a third party school? It could be your mama's driving school, your daddy's driving school. It could be drip driving school. Uh, tattoo driving school. There are plenty of great driving. Hey, how are you doing? There are plenty of great. Uh, what's up, Julian? 
There are plenty of great driving schools around the area. You gotta do your research. You gotta read some of the Google reviews. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. I'm taking my permit test soon, any advice? What I need you to do is first follow me. You need to be following. You need to look at my profile, have some other resources. You need to uh, start reading and understanding the rules of the road. You know, whatever state you're in, Texas, uh, Michigan, uh, Illinois, uh, California, you need to get the Department of Motor Vehicles, thank you for the heart, of uh, whatever state you are in. Then you're gonna start reading and understanding the rules of the road. It's relative to whatever location you live in. And you wanna start practicing that once you get into the class. Most instructors, they'll have two guys, three guys, four guys, and then you'll be driving hopefully within the first week. How do you properly parallel park? First, I need you to follow me. And then you're gonna be seeing my videos on parallel parking that have 250,000 views, 350,000 views. You need to line your vehicle up and reverse back at a 45 angle, cut your wheels all the way to the right. Back in slowly. I have my class certificate, yay! I'm so happy for you. Now you gotta start practicing. You've gotta get out there on the weekends and practice in your neighborhood, working on right turns, working on left turns, reverse parallel parking. You wanna feel comfortable. You will feel nervous when you start driving, but as you drive, you're gonna have to go to downtown. You're gonna have to go up north. You're gonna have to go out into the country. You're gonna have to drive at night. You're gonna have to drive in the rain. All of these things will help you become a better sharp. So, oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, drop some hearts, drop some likes. Please follow, please subscribe, please do those things. I wanna continue to make high quality content to teach all of you how to drive because I'm very passionate about driving, whether that's in class, study guides, um, road test prep, you tell me what you need and then I'll be making that content based on what you feel is important. I always read the comments. I'm always appreciative and thankful for all of you because without you, I wouldn't be here. So driver's education is expensive. They are talking about putting it back in public schools, okay? Because we want to serve the entire public, not just a small segment of the population. Everyone deserves to have a good driver's education experience. And some people go to third parties, they're a little bit more expensive. Some people wait until they're 18. It just depends on your situation. Some of you might say, well, my mom and dad felt I'm not ready. Well, listen to your mom, listen to your dad. They know you better than me. But at the same time, if you have those questions, hey, do you think I'm ready for driver's ed? Are you going to take the time to practice? Do you have a car that you can practice with? A lot of people, 17 and a half to about 25, don't have a car to practice with. So you gotta find someone in your family who's willing to let you drive and who will support you. Typically, it's your chilled uncle like me. It could be your mom or dad. Remember, your parents are still working, right? They're not gonna be retiring until probably their late 60s, early 70s. What is the purpose of the left lane on the highway? There are two lanes on both sides of the highway. We're talking about North America. There's a lane on the right over the white line. That's in case you break down. That's called the edge line or fog line. The lane on the left, if you break down on the left side, you might not be able to get all the way over to the right. So those lanes are for emergencies. You can't drive in that lane, but that lane is there in case your car breaks down. Now we're asking some good questions. Let's ask about five to 10 more questions. Then I have to go on another drive and then I'll come back on live later and educate you some more. Uh, this, as the year goes on, summertime is gonna pick up. You're gonna have a lot more people learning how to drive, taking driver's education. You're gonna have to save money. The classes cost anywhere from $275 to $575. It is a very expensive uh, investment in you. I want you to look at it as an investment, okay? You, you have to, I see motorcycles passing me between cars. Um, as long as it's safe, 
and there's room, they can pass you. If they're speeding in and between cars, that's kind of dangerous. So we don't want to have our two-wheel friends, uh, you know, making really crazy maneuvers. Uh, do you need to take driver's ed to get your permit? Yes, you do. There are two ways. If you're under 18, you're going to be enrolled in a driver's education course. You're going to learn the rules of the road. You're going to be preparing for your knowledge test. And you're going to be driving a driver's head car that has a brake on the passenger side. I have a brake on my passenger side. I have a dual mirror. We have the big yellow sign that goes on top. Uh, we have warnings and decals. Hey, student driver, back off. Give us space. Yes. If you're over 18, the same thing. You're going to get a temporary instruction permit. It's called a TIP. And once you get your TIP, you're going to be driving for 30 days with someone over 21. So to answer your question, you need a permit. That's a good question. You got to have someone who's going to take the time. And I think a lot of people get enrolled in driver's ed, but they don't have family support. I can offer you family support, but I'm in the Midwest. Some of you might be in California, might be in Texas, you might be in the Northeast. Uh, classes are 200 plus, they're more than that. It varies on where you live. So you need to do research on driver's education in your area. It varies from state to state. Texas might be 550, California might be 675. Hawaii might be 850. This could include segment one, segment two, road test prep, defensive driving. Every state is different. I like the questions. But if you are in a public school, some public schools still have driver's ed as a class after school. And that's convenient. You can enroll in that. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the likes. You can enroll in that class. You take it as a class usually. It's a one credit class. It's during the semester. You learn the rules of the road. I just got my license mailed to me. Hey, that is awesome. I took it at my high school in Florida. That's awesome. Those Floridians, driver's education. On a national perspective, I really want to see driver's education integrated into the schools because I'm a teacher, I'm an educator. We make the best instructors because wouldn't it be cool to take driver's education with your teacher, with your coach, your English teacher, your football coach, your track coach, because we know you, your parents trust us. Quick question, in New York, can you always turn right on red every time? You need to look at the laws. You need to look at the signs. So let's pretend we're up at an intersection. You look up. If there's no sign there, you still have to stop. S T. OP, you got to stop first and look if it's clear and there's no sign you can turn Always stop because there's a red light there for a reason. I love it. Keep the questions coming in Right, Julian. I really appreciate your your caring right you asking good questions And then what we'll do sometime. We'll go live together. We'll share. That's really important Hey, I got a few more minutes here ask some more questions. That's super important because the more you learn about driving, the better you're going to be and the more equipped you're going to be. Driving is about knowledge. Driving is about education. Um, how long does a driver's ed process take? Typically about six weeks. Um, how long did you have to mask a debate before? How long did it take to have to? Okay, so six weeks eight weeks it depends if you miss a day in driver's education you're going to have to make that up okay you also said i have to drive with my parents they don't regularly stop completely well what i need you to do k is practice stopping you want to prepare for the road test i drove a student yesterday to prepare them for the road test stop behind the stop line drive within the speed limit look left and right you do those things because you're going to be taking your test that is so important I want all of you to become safe drivers. And then kind of to, to uh, kind of encompass this, um, if all of you were in my virtual class, uh, we will first get in, I will have you work on the virtual study guide. That takes about 25 minutes. I will have a countdown timer going. Then we will go over all the questions together, right? Go over the questions together. After that, then we would do a Kahoot or Quizlet going over road signs, pavement markings. Then we would see some driver's education videos, right? 
uh, how do you prop how do you uh, how do you properly park on uphill and downhill that's a good question if you're parking downhill you put your park brake up then you turn your wheel all the way to the right my parents are forcing me to join the mass debate at the table do what your parents do listen to your parents the family is the first teacher whatever your parents say do you do listen to mom listen to dad on that standpoint thank you for the support i need you to go ahead and follow me leave comments and i will come on later you guys are awesome hey tiff how are you i will come on later today we'll talk we'll interact thank you bye